So this is a big hitting moon. Uh, we were exploring it last night. In I'm back on Sark and I've been in the UK for two weeks. And I love it, and it's great. I love my family and it's wonderful being in Dorset. It's beautiful. Swanage, it was beautiful. And it's a beautiful place. I love it. But I have come back to Zark and I'm like, it's just roads and cars and politics and war and all the things that are just just madness like absolute fucking madness we know i know we know it and i also know that you can't all you can't get away from it and i don't know what to say i just don't want to be there <laughs> i don't want to be in it and i'm really happy that i'm back here and i'm walking along and literally everything i look at is so beautiful everything is so beautiful when there's a storm about to about to kick off with thunder and lightning. It's the full moon. I'm doing a full moon ceremony tonight. It's the Scorpio full moon. It's lunar eclipse. Oh my god, this evening is full of magic. And I've just come back and I've just laughed. I've laughed and laughed. Yeah, that's beautiful. You can't really see how beautiful it is. It's really beautiful, it doesn't really translate on camera. I do, I do. Yeah, I've just come back and instantly belly laughed and the sky is talking, the storm is coming. Oh god. So it's been a lunar it's been an eclipse portal. We've got the lunar eclipse tonight, and then that started with the partial solar eclipse, or lunar eclipse, I think it's partial solar eclipse, in <coughs> um, a few weeks ago, and um, Mercury retrograde's happening. So everything's kicking off at the moment, and it's very communication orientated, um, because the Mercury retrograde's in Gemini, which is its, its sign, all about communication the twins chatting to each other and um being in communication and and mercury is about retrograde is that then getting kind of fucked up <clears throat> um there's a bit of rope down there that would be really good for lighting a cannon <laughs> i'm such a tudor i was just like oh that'd be really good cannon lighting rope we don't need to light any cannons here it's fine um look at the sky look at it Oh my god. There's gonna be some serious thunder and lightning in a minute and it's gonna be fucking epic. And then it's the full moon and I'm doing a full moon ceremony and everything is so light. I thought that I'd like come back and everything would be summery and I'd have missed it, but I haven't. I've come back and everything is so alive. I love it so much here. And just instantly just Belly laughing. I've just been laughing so much. I've been back a few hours and I've just been. It's been great. And I've got such a family here. People are a community. Like the things that are so important that just the modern world. It's not that there's anything against England. I fucking love England. I love it. I love the land and I love the people so much. But the world that we're being made to live in, the reality that we're being made to live in, is psychotic. It's fucking psychotic and it needs to stop and we need to overthrow it and it's not like in some big revolution. I don't, I don't even know what the answer is but the more we realise how psychotic it is the better. I think, I don't know what, I don't know what the answer is. I wish I did. But it's psychotic. Oh hello sheep. You're the wrong side of the fence Mr Sheep. Yeah and the wall the way up there is a gate. How are you going to get over? It's okay. It's okay. I 
how are you going to get over? Oh, there's a sheep. That's the wrong size of the gate. How are you going to get over, Mr. Sheep? Well, Baba, I don't want to scare you. It's okay. Uh, where are you meant to be? Oh, I'm coming that way. Uh, how did you get over? It's okay. Okay, I'm going to come back to you because I don't want to freak the sheep out. Okay, so the bad news is that the lamb jumped into the field with the sheep, which is great, except then the sheep started barring in the next field and it was definitely his mum, so it's jumped into the wrong field. So I've just had to phone up my boyfriend and find out whose sheep they are so we can tell them that he's got a lamb in the wrong field. The good news is that the honeysuckle's nearly out. Aye. Oh, yeah, because from the moment that baby's out, it's tucked behind my ear. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, thanks. Yeah, okay, cool. For listening, I will be reverential and thankful to the honeysuckle for being tucked behind my ear. It's not just here to serve me as a very lovely adornment, but it's wonderful and I love it. So, nature, we just need to be in it more because being back here and being in it more, it just seems like insanity that we're doing anything other than this. So, we don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to suggest, but that's what we should all be aiming towards is all I can say and there's a big storm coming I'm gonna go out in there and I'm gonna get wet and I'm gonna be thankful and grateful for everything that this beautiful planet is and I thank you mother uh, thank you mama for everything you are and what a honor it is to be here Yeah.